Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you are doing very well. So in this video, what we are simply going to do is we are going to be designing some interesting design I was so wowed about when I completed it, okay? And this was with the help of Magic Grab, okay? And just in case you don't know what Magic Grab is, Magic Grab is one of the finest tools that have been upgraded in Canva. And it was announced during the Canva Kit 2024, all right? So we are going to be using that to design something beautiful and I'm sure you are going to love it and just in case you're wondering what are we going to design this is what we are going to be designing and yes the next thing i would want you to do is just in case you want to be part of a vibrant community you want to test out candler pro and you want templates please look in the description box below all of this is available for you okay so without any further ado let's dive straight into the tutorial Alright, so the, what I need you to know is that the dimension I am using is 1080 by 1350, okay? And I'm also using the new Canva Glow feature. So just in case you are still on the old one, you know, it's basically still the same, just that you just need to know where to find things, that's all, okay? So that's all I wanted to let you know. Anyway, the first thing we are going to do is to add our first image. So I would come into element and I would go into my recently used image, okay? And over here, there are a number of images I would want us to use. This is the first one. And the keywords to use is road trip concept and sunset. But I think to make things very easy for you, I'll leave all these photos in the description box below so that once you want to follow this tutorial, click on it, you would have every image I use and it will just be easy for you to follow suit okay so I'll just add the first image this is it and we are just going to in fact make it bigger not smaller okay and let's have it here like this and we'll also drag this you know to something like this all right so this is what we have click on edit okay and in edit make sure you're coming to magic grab okay and once you have magic grab it should analyze the video hey what did i say video no, not video. it should analyze your photo okay and you know we have two options brush and click make sure you're clicking on brush okay and let's increase the brush size to 100 and what you can simply do is i would want you to brush over okay so just brush over the hill you only need the hill so take notes so i'm taking my time to do this so that you can also take your time to do yours okay so this is what i am doing oh i am brushing <laughs> the hair, 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 hair. okay and i'm taking my time because if i add any extra part i don't need you know candle grab would add it because i tested it before and that's what it did so we want to be extra careful on the areas we need okay and i want all of this part so i'm just going to add it and yes i think i have done a very great job i think so so the next thing to do is click on grab and canva should analyze the image and should present you with the final result the final result is ready and uh, let's see if we have what we need okay so we have what we need so i'll place it down here and i'm just going to crop it as well okay so that we have something like this i'm going to stretch this part of the image okay you know the background of it and this is what uh, has been failed you know over there just to at least make it look good a little bit so the second image i'm going to add okay and you should already have it all right is this particular image and we are also going to use the canva grab to work on it okay so come to the brush and we are going to brush the areas we need okay so the bottom we need every part of the bottom okay so add and make sure you're adding you know the top over here okay so just brush brush you know something like this and let's have something like this okay so something like that okay this is what we have at the moment let's add the top okay now come to grab and like i said you'd always have to give canva some time to grab your image for you okay image grabbed successfully no image grabbed successfully okay you can see this what we have this is the background we don't need it to send it to the back so all i need you to do is send this behind the road okay and drop it down a little bit 
okay so something like this is very very cool now there's a third image i want you to add so i would come into my uploads and a school palmer but you can okay this is a final design not this one you can add any football player or any man at all you want okay you don't have to worry at all and i know some of you might be on the pro version and others on the free version so i'll just make sure this image would be removed okay the background will be removed so i'll click on the bg remover okay so this is what we have at the moment and make sure that you know his waist is hitting the hill okay the hill we have over here his waist is hitting it and his head is matching the height okay of the trees over there so that it makes the photo look realistic you understand okay so now that we have that come into element okay and in element i want you to search for shadow okay shadow and come to see or now when you scroll down there's a particular shadow you should see this one it's called black gradient shadow okay but this one is curved a little bit okay it has some sort of curve around it that's the type of shadow we need so let's make it smaller okay and let's zoom in to our image and just in case you're wondering how i was able to zoom in is because of the type of mouse i am using okay so yeah anyway and if you don't know the type of mouse i'm using don't worry you don't need to know <laughs> no anyway i'm using the logitech um mx3 okay and there's a side screw that's what i used to manipulate the screw so you would see that oh where's the cancer uh-huh so you see that if i just screw you get it uh -huh. anyway that's the thing anyway let's add the second shadow over here okay and we'll make this one also very small and we are just going to place it just beneath his feet okay just so that we can have it looking i think it's looking better it's looking realistic as well okay so now the next problem we are realizing is that the colors are not matching at all and to make this look good or perfect we need to be able to match the colors okay so that's what we are simply going to do i would click on the background you know the city over here come to edit and come to adjust okay and adjust the temperature i need you to increase the temperature because everything else looks warm except kupama okay and the tint will drag it to make it more yellowish okay to match it and you can see it's currently matching okay and i think yeah this is very cool okay now we can click on kupama as well and you can also make him warm okay just so that he matches with it and i think here this is good okay this is fine we have been able to match the colors it's not perfect perfect but i think it still looks good okay now come back into element and add this type of shadows okay you can use um shapes to create the shadows but i just want to speed up things a little bit so yeah and if you always follow my tutorials there's something that should be very easy for you okay yeah so 180 and i'll just you know have things looking like this very very beautiful and what we would want to add next is would want to add some text okay so you can press t on your keyboard okay and over here you can see with this text in fact let me change the color first i'm going to change it to white we can increase the spacing between the characters and i use the spacing option okay the letter spacing i've increased it so that's what you can also do and just say maybe english premier league player okay so english okay english premier league and we can just duplicate this and maybe bring it somewhere down over here okay and i can just say chelsea football club okay so chelsea football club okay then in the middle i would want to first of all reset the letter spacing to zero okay and i would also want to um change this font type okay so for the font type there are so many types of fonts but what we are using currently is um a sans serif font but i want to use a serif font okay it's a it's a type of font actually so let's search for serif and you can choose any of the fonts that works you know well with you okay 
but I would go for the Nvia Serif, okay? Then I can just say young best player. Okay, so young best player. Okay, I think he actually won the young best player, I think so. If he didn't, then you can use, you, you can say anything you want, okay? You don't have to stick to what I'm saying. And I will just duplicate this again and we would say co palma okay so co palma and with this i'm going to use a script font which is another type of font and i'm going to use the Anast anastasia script okay so this is what we have at the moment and we can increase the size okay and center it and select everything increase it a little bit and just the spacing should be correct okay that's all we need and one last thing is select every text you have added come to the c or option and come to shadow okay in shadow once you click on it you would have to click on it again double click which i mean and come to the color make it black okay and increase the transparency so that it's you know very thick and visible okay and you can see this is what we have been able to create we can move things up a little bit okay and maybe increase the size more okay so that everything looks beautiful but it will also mean that we'll have to lift the photo we have in the background yeah something like that and yes this is what we have been able to create inside of canva very easy very simple i hope you enjoyed it i would love to see your version so when you post it make sure to tag me on instagram african geeks and them um, there's another tutorial coming up which you wouldn't want to miss but while you wait i would want you to you know click on the video on screen which will teach you how to create a landing page inside of canva the name is benjamin oh remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video